we are doing everything we can to fight this threat and to secure our common future. We are fulfilling our duty as a good neighbor, taking care of business in our side of the border. The U.S. is also helping. Congress approved the Merida Initiative, which we greatly appreciate, and our administrations are sharing more information than ever to fight crime. However, however, there is one issue where Mexico needs your cooperation, and that is stopping the flow of assault weapons and other deadly arms across the border. I fully respect. Let me be clear on this. I fully respect. I admire the American Constitution. And I understand that the purpose of the Second Amendment is to guarantee good American citizens the ability to defend themselves and their nation. But believe me, many of these guns are not going to honest American hands. Instead, thousands are ending up in the hands of criminals. Just to give you an idea, we have seized 75,000 guns and assault weapons in Mexico in the last three years. And more than 80% of those we have been able to trace came from, United St from the United States. And if you look carefully, you will notice that the violence in Mexico started to grow a couple of years before I took office in 2006. This coincides, at least, with the lifting of the assault weapons ban in 2004. One day, criminals in Mexico, having gained access to these weapons, decided to challenge the authorities in my country. Today, these weapons are aimed by the criminals not only at rival gangs, but also at Mexican civilians and authorities. And with all due respect, if you do not regulate the sale of these weapons in the right way, nothing guarantees that criminals here in the United States with access to the same power of weapons, will not decide to challenge American authorities and civilians. It is true the U.S. government is now carrying out operations against gun traffickers. But it's, it is also true that there are more than 7,000 gun shops along the border with Mexico, where almost anyone can purchase these powerful weapons. I also fully understand the political sensitivity of this issue. But I will ask Congress to help us with respect and to understand how important it is for us that you enforce current laws to stem the supply of these weapons to criminals and consider restating the assault weapons ban. Let us. Let us, at any, by any legal way that you consider, let us work together to end this lethal trade that threatens Mexico and your own people.